Right, so the next thing uh, to do in this engine bay, now that we've got the uh, coil packs tapped into and the connector on, was to put the uh, map pipe in. So, <clears throat> all we've done is, if I can get in there, let's have a look around here. That's better. Is tap into the fuel pressure regulator uh, pipe, vacuum pipe, because that's post throttle body and that's what we need. No good having it pre throttle body, not going to get any vacuum then. So, got a T piece and uh, teed into it. Really difficult, there we go, that's better. Snip the tube, put the T-piece in. Got some silicon pipe, uh, silicon vacuum pipe, uh, just off eBay. Drill the hole. Put a bit of tape around just to, uh, I will drill a bigger hole because um, we'll probably um, put more wires through for the wide band and everything when I fit that. Don't actually need the wide band on to try and start the car. Um, makes it easy. If I get round to it, I'll do it. Otherwise, I think we'll just try and. Anyway, we'll try and start the car without it. So that goes through there, and then let's go inside. So if we come round into the car now. What I've got is I've disconnected the main connector from Nissan's ECU. Plugged in the jumper cable that I made the other week. It's connected up to the breakout box for the speed we know this is just an IDC 40 pin breakout box I did mention it in an earlier video uh, I did have one problem with it <laughs> it was labeled incorrectly um, which caused me a slight issue at the beginning um, so I ended up peeling those labels off and just writing my own on so uh, bear in mind if you do get them from China, uh, they might be labelled incorrectly, just to make your life difficult. So we've got the map pipe, comes back through inside, connecting up to the map sensor here. I've also, um, I want a, everyone wants the speed, uh, the taco working, don't they? So. Um, I went into the Mega Squirt schematics and found uh, because I run the Mega Squirt on my daily driver, um, and I had a quick look at what resistor um, the taco output is on the Mega Squirt, and it was a 1K. Now I know that works on this car, um, on the, the Nissan Micra uh, instrument cluster, because uh, it's working on my other car. So I've soldered a 1k resistor from the live to the taco pin 49 I think it is so that's that so um, that should work um, when we set it I've also had to on Nissan's ECU it grounds out an electronic control module, uh, the ECM relay, uh, inside the ECU. Um, we don't have that ability here, so what I've done, and without that, we're not going to get 12 volts to cam sensor, idle air control valves, and, and other various points. It's just not going to start, so... I've just put a little relay module, it's just a little Arduino relay module, it doesn't have to be, it could just be a relay, 
just to ground out this ECM control wire. The other side of this just goes to a grounding point that I've temporarily put, just screwed it on to here. That'll ground out the relay, that'll give us 12 volts everywhere that we need. The other issue is, will be the fan. The rad fan has a live going to it constantly, which is not what we require because as soon as we connect this to here, the fan will come on because it will ground when there's no power going to this unit. It will create a ground and that will close the relay and bring the fan on. And we don't need that. It will also cause this to act a bit funny. So I did have issues with that on Mega Squirt as well. So we'll probably do the fix that we did for the Mega Squirt for that. I just haven't got around to it. And to be honest with you, if you're putting this in as a standalone ECU on like a, a race type car, you're probably going to have your own separate fan switch anyway. But I like everything to be controlled by here because the one time you forget to switch your fan on is the one time you'll need it and you'll end up ruining your engine. So that's all wired up. Um, as per the wiring uh, diagram for Speed Ueno from here. So now what we can do is we can uh, have got obviously the shielded cable for the crank sensor. What we can do is power it up, hook the laptop up and set a few parameters and check that we get a cranking uh, signal. So let's do that. <laughs> 